Alright guys, happy Sunday. Second day of me working on trying to get this stuff put together. Yesterday you guys saw the video of the uh, pan clamp. A lot of you guys had good suggestions about making the top arm swingable, uh, different clamping mechanisms. Uh, I need to have the top die removable because when I put in the uh, the 14 inch diameter sheet, I need it to, to bend out here. I got to wrap a uh, one inch piece around here to make that a 10 inch uh, diameter inner. Somebody corrected me on that one too. Um, so this needs to be removable. I'm okay with how it works. The idea of it swinging away or lifting up, I, I like that idea. Um, but for today, in the process of moving to the next step, uh, where we got yesterday was uh, being able to get these flutes in and maintain a nice centered and flat bottom and that's my objective. The next step in doing this is to start upsetting these flutes and I talked about making a mandrel or something uh, you know something so much of what I had with this. Um, that's important but what's most important to me right now is being able to just heat this outside ring and as much as possible. If I you know I want to be able to when I come over to the clamp have the entire outer ring hot I don't really need, if this, if this concept continues to work, I don't need to ever heat the inside, or not very much. Um, and heating the inside right now is easy to do on the forge. So what I'm trying to do is take a little Johnny Cash into action here. And I want to create, if I can, all right? I don't want to make a new forge. I don't have space for stuff like this inside the, inside the shop. You know, I just don't have the space to add something new. So I want to make an attachment from my forge and if it works, I'm going to call it the ring of fire attachment. And the concept is, is to be able to not have heat in the center, but have heat on the outside ring, just to heat the outside of that pan. So let me show you what I have in mind. Design concept one was this, and I just went to the scrapyard and I picked this up, and I like this. This one seems to fit really well. What I'm thinking is that I can put this right over my air intake, uh, air intake, my exhaust um, on the forge, close this top off and punch a bunch of side vents in and create a forge where the coal is in a ring around the outside being fed with air and providing an outer ring where I can just drop the pan on and just heat that outside ring or heat these flutes and not have to worry about the center because the more that I maintain integrity and strength in the center, not heating the center, um, the less warping and things like that are going to occur. So this is my original design and that's why I went to the scrapyard and and I don't know if I can do this without creating an outer ring to this. Also, it's got to be able to fit into the confinements of my forge right now. There's a lot of things at play. Um, but in the process of looking for that, I came across this. All right, little spare donut. And it's just got everything that I need in shape, right? It's got this bottom cup which will capture the air coming out of the forge. It's got this nice deep pan all right, inside here, which I'm hoping my 14, even my 14 inch diameter disc fit inside there. <coughs> it really, I mean, the, 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 I don't know how well it'll take the heat, um, but if this were to work, I could close this top off, side vent all the way around the inside of this cup. All right, see how it goes up inside there fill that up with coal and be able to have that that ring that I want. The question is, will this fit inside my forge? So let's go check that out. Disappointed here, maybe times two. So the exhaust pour hole is here. All right, and my pan is in this area here. Um, I only have just a few inches from there to before I hit this pole. And that's, that's gonna be the problem. Unless maybe I come up with a plate that I put down and, and move the air coming into a different location. So even with the, the smaller of the two, well, gosh darn it, that's not a horrible design right there. Um, I, got, I have enough room, I think, for my pan here. And I should be able to slide that over and still capture most of the air. So that one I think we could probably do something with, but it's not turnkey. I love the, the turnkey concept of this one. And... Well, it isn't horrible. So I'm here, and the whole center is here. I'm only about four inches off, and I still have this tire on. So I, gosh, 
I think the idea of covering that plate or covering this fire pot pit pot pit pot fire pot off with a plate with a hole moved over here will will allow the air to come out in that in that spot cleanly, and and I think that'll work. All right, let's keep going with the tire idea. You're there, yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the air from this tire and then see what I can about removing it. I won't take you along for that journey, but that's what we're gonna do first. I see the situation now that that tire's gone. Gosh dang, it almost fits. It's perfectly over the hole, just like that. I'll be ding dang dong. Stuff like that don't happen to me very often. Issue is, um, how well will it hold up? Yeah, and this thing, I can heat that dang. There we go. I mean, that's the, I could do a 16 inch. Um, maybe a 16 inch diameter in there. So the big issue right now is how well will it hold up to the heat. And that's something that we can uh, we can address. These things are hard, easy to find. Um, do I even need this top ring on? I don't think I do. I think I can maybe buzz that off. But at the same time, it's holding everything right where it needs to be. Hmm. see the dust coming out of there but that part's gonna work okay I think I don't need it quite so deep but at the same time I don't know how high my coal is gonna be inside there either to keep it going I might even extend this cap up just a little bit I think everything we do is gonna be kind of minor minor adjustments just to make sure that it works all right well i guess what i'll do then is get the sandblaster out and get some of this paint off i think this is the way to go i think it's going to work fine i think that uh, with some side holes in there i'll be able to produce enough air to keep the, the coal running i have about i don't know two to three inches of of uh Coal. I can actually fill the whole thing with coal, so maybe three or four. But by two minutes, it would it would be I really good. Um, question is, am I going to burn through this damn side? Let me think some more. Take a little closer look at this scenario now. I got it cleaned all off. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not setting all the way down onto the bottom, which means I'm not going to be capturing all my air. sits perfectly there but I have like an inch gap all the way around that I would have to figure out I would want I want to capture all the air so I might have to put a plate down and, and punch a hole in it that fits this just to capture as much as possible that's that's not a big deal we can handle that um, yeah I think we can handle that just fine. That's good enough for the air compressor and me today anyway. I have a lot less paint going to be burning off than it was, that's for sure. Alright, let's get back at it. What I want to do is cut that plate for the bottom because, again, this is all proof of concept. That's not going to be long enough. Um, and in putting in the forge, if I cut that plate so that it fits this diameter of this inner part of this ring, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to figure that diameter out. Here in a second anyway. Something a little small and that won't hurt. So about there. Bounce. So we need a hole with a circumference of 28 inches. 28 divided by pi. 28 divided by pi equals 
8.9 inches in diameter. So I can weigh 8.9. I don't necessarily. Yeah, I guess so. We'll go 8 and 3 quarters in diameter. Let me get it cut. I'll be back. We need a 12 by 12 plate with an 8 and 3 quarters hole in the center. So we'll find the center of this plate somewhere close to it. Cut the hole out first. 8 and 3 quarter inch diameter. Which leaves me with 4 and 3 eighths. Radius. Four and three eighths. Radius. That's a quarter. This is all sign, you know, tolerance of fa factor. What is it? Tolerance of plus or minus one thousand feet. Somewhere in that regard. Someone in the previous video, when I showed the uh, my cutting uh, tool here. This little thing here that I use when I'm making the plates to put the score line in, it's really not meant to do that. It's, its purpose is to hold the, the end of the rod up at the right elevation. It just happens to put a score mark in there. So, uh, again, I don't, I don't know if that's going to wear out and don't really matter too much. We'll figure another way out. I can just throw a pen in here and mark it that way too. So, all right, let me get this cut. factor of safety there, or a factor. I had a tolerance of 100,000 yards. Let's see what it looks like. Oh hell, it's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Okay, let's cut that other part. Alrighty, nice straight cut here. My shop is the only place I have to store sheet is in this little back corner. And every time I go to get some, I have to go through this whole process. Mother. Did that hit the camera? Oh boy, you saw it fall too. How the hell did that fall? Yeah, I'm not complaining because it ain't a driveway. Because you can't help but trip over yourself every freaking time you turn around. All right, let's move on. That's that. Oh, that's a little warm, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's tack that piece there.
I think that's all we need for that particular use piece. Now. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to cover this top, all right, so that I don't have any air escaping. Do I want to do it so that, no, because there, there probably won't be any coal up here. Um, I'm wondering if I, was, if I wanted to do it in such a way that um, I could if I wanted to open this up and start heating up here. But I don't imagine that there's going to be any coal up here in this area. So, I don't know for sure, but we got to cover this and we got to punch whatever I think is enough air holes around this outside. Uh, you know, half inch diameter I think. I'll just use the, the plasma, zip, 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 zip every couple of inches just to make sure there's enough airflow to, uh, to keep that that coal going. If you think about it coming out of the bottom of the forge I have a hole about that big so I need to I need to duplicate that same that same volume of uh, opening. Square surface of opening. Ugh. Question that I have is do I want those vent holes side um, forcing air through the side or should I try to hit right here on the friggin' bottom or both? Man, I don't know. I guess both. Um, I've never I've never seen a side blower kind of forge thing work. Not that I not that it doesn't work. I've not seen it in action. Um, I think I'll just I think I'll punch around the outside and around the inside. All right, that's the plan. I'll be back when it's done. Are you guys let me know, would you? Let's hope they don't. cheese out of that sucker. I think that'll work out right. The color I put on the inside of that. Now that's something I don't know what just happened. Whips off. It's my ignorance of plasma cutters I guess. But I, you know we got holes on the bottom and on the side for the bottom and side draft. I think that's going to be just fine. Um, but dee -dee 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 -dee. Coming up to the top now. I happen to have this disc float, uh, floating around. I don't remember what it's from but I think I'll put that on the top. I was originally thinking of just closing off the bottom. That would be just as easy. But uh, I'm really, really afraid when I get all done, I, I'm going to end up melting something off in here because it is going to generate some heat. So as ugly as that is, I think I'm just going to weld that in there just like that from the bottom. And uh, and we'll see, how, well, we'll see what it does. Again, prototyping on new, new tools for sure. You gotta ask yourself, what if it does work and everything's good? So I had to actually kind of clean it up a little bit, just in case it turned out okay. I left my center mark here from when I first cut the circle, but I can go ahead and place this thing on at least relatively centered. It's not; it doesn't have to be perfect. But we'll go ahead and weld the crap out of that. Actually, I don't know. We'll tack it up clean. Well, I'm on wood. You set the stuff up on wood channel, what do you expect? You ain't gonna get no spark from that, I tell you. We'll just throw a couple of taps in there. Sound it kind of Tears with a tears now. Let's say it was a little bit more than a few tags, but we did something. We 
gonna do shop fried. So that's it, right? That is the Ring of Fire Forge insert for your coal forge. Now, again, I'm not going for white heat and, and stuff like that forge welding, so I'm hoping this steel holds up okay. If it proves that it's going to work, boy, I wish I had some air out here, but I just don't have access to it. If it proves that it's going to work, then um, then I can go ahead. I probably have room to put in a, maybe an, an inch of, uh, of uh, refractory or something like that. But I think at this point, this thing is ready to rock and roll. So let's give it a go. Let's see if we all still fit. I don't think we have a preference on the side. We want it down nice and tight on the things. It's there. Air. I hope enough air. Of course, my vent's open. Can't tell if I'm getting enough air from that blower alone. Though. That was the only one way to find out. Let's throw a little fire in there. Um, I have no idea how to light this forge. Didn't take this. I should have had a good hour to your video. Uh, when in doubt, go what you know. I normally start with, with charcoal. I don't know whether to fill the whole bottom with charcoal or to, I don't know what to do. Start one spot and then move it around. Let's see what happens. Got 
something going on anyway. We got the something going on anyway. Let that cook for a little while. And throw some coal in there and see what happens. I just want to see if this thing is going to draft at all as I'm covering up the main draft. Hopefully it'll draft up that other one. Get that charcoal down in there. Our clinker don't think it doesn't do anything. It seems to be trying. Let's fill her up. Welding helmet on still. This might be where I need to switch the bituminous just for the requirement of that, that anthrop, uh, airflow that anthracite has. But she's heating up, she's getting cooking here. We haven't given up yet. I do have some bituminous to throw in there if I want to try it. I'll tell you, she's getting there slowly. Uh, that's just with the, the little blower. I only have half of it started. This is its going to be a learning process. If I go ahead and hook up a little extra air though. the inside. Let's see what happens. Proof of concept is still valid at this point, although I'm a little skeptical. And you can see we're definitely heating that outside edge. And again, there's, there's no air flow inside here. So it's a function of me learning the forge. I'm almost certain of it. <laughs> to 
should certainly have what I wanted right there, right? With the ring of the ring of fire forage. I think I need to have more more coal in here so that I can go ahead and put this thing down into the coals. I'm not sure. We're going to play with a little bit more, and if I figure it out, I'll come back. Well, <clears throat> even with more coal, I'm just not. It's not where I want it to be. It is a failure, y'all. It's just not doing it. And I really suspect that that's why, right there. Good old N307. So, we're going to let this cool down. I'm going to crack open a box of the bitume I have for special occasions, and we're going to see what happens. Alrighty. So, now let's go ahead and set this thing up. This could just turn out to be a bad idea that Chandler had and it just wasn't going to work in the first place. I accept that. Because a lot of things look good on paper. That's a fact yet. But until you try it, even if you've been told a few things, until you try it, sometimes you don't know. So let's get some charcoal going in here. The sad thing is I know nothing in five two minutes. So I don't know how much it takes to get started. I did that one video, which obviously I didn't need to fill the whole forge with five two minutes. So we'll get a little charcoal started in here anyway. That's enough to start it or not. But we'll let that cook. Introduce you to a secret stash I have. She covered that so you can't see where it got. Well, not that I don't want you to see it. I just don't want to give off anybody's address. I picked this up a long time ago and I have not even opened it. Uh, back when I was trying to figure out what the right thing to do was for demos, I thought some bitumen could work. And I tried some and later changed my mind. So this has been sitting around for a while. Now, like I said, I tried bitumen once in a rivet forge and I handled it like it was anthracite. I built a big pile and lots of heat and I had this freaking... I don't know what do you call it, firestorm anyway, it was just crazy. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of this in on this charcoal. We're going to learn together, you and I. Because I don't, I know you don't need nearly as much of it. I know it smokes like crazy. That's all I know. So let's throw some in there. Let's let her get lit up if we can. It sure does smell different. And we'll see if maybe that's the magic. And I need to start finding a source of bituminous when I want to do pans. One thing about the learning process, it does take a while to do. I would think that'd be plenty compared to my last firestorm. So let's stop with that. We'll let this cook a little bit. See if that bituminous catches. And see what happens. We'll be back in a little while. Well, that's the difference between bitumen and anthracite. That's why I use anthracite. Once she gets going, she cleans up. This is looking a lot more promising because I'm able to get that fire going with a lot less effort here. So we'll let it clean up. We'll see what it looks like. For example, say I get too much air. I'm just trying to get it cooked down as quickly as I can so that I can clean it up. I don't know. I'll have to do some research. If this is the way I go with it, I might have to... Uh, I don't know if you can coke that stuff up, clean it up a little bit, or wash it, or whatever. Because I can't be making this much smoke. The shop be full of smoke. 
so change the design or change the fuel. It's not drafting much, I'll tell you. Son of a bitch. But we'd be filling up. All right, let's look again. We got to let her cook down. I mean, it's the only thing that you got to do that. That's the nature of the beast, I think, from my limited experience. So it's good to have this stuff cooked down, I think, ahead of time. We're going to find out here in a minute. Who does ring it, or ring it, man, bring itself to uh, the whole ring of fire co concept. Uh, I can't imagine having this dude do this, though. There's got to be a way. Anthracite didn't work in this configuration, that's about show. Maybe I just need a separate forge that I can pull out, <clears throat> like a rivet forge or a brake drum forge, which heats the entire area. We'll let this cook down. Those of you guys that are bitume um, users, I mean, anything I can do to prepare the coal beside, I mean, oh, I can wash it. Does that really make a difference? When And how do you do that? Um, what are some of the things I can do? I like the way it looks. I mean, I think this is going to work now. Um, I'm not even sure when I should put the pan in. But uh, this sure seems to be making a heck of a lot more smoke still. She's still cooking down, and again, I only put like a handful all the way around the outside. You know, a handful deep. Um, but it's not filled, but um, I wonder if that's too much to start with. I don't know. Sucks to be ignorant. We're going to be a little less ignorant here in a minute. At least she's drafting a little now. Let's get her a go. She's cleaning up a little bit. I think what I can do is, as I'm using, if I continue to use this method, as I'm uh, using the forge, I can go ahead and put my fresh coal in the center there. That should coke up a little bit, or burn down, or clean up, or whatever the heck this crazy ass coal does. But let's throw that pan in there and see what happens on those edges now. I'd hate this to be a complete and total failure. I also hate to be working with this much smoke. I might have to change my draft or something. Pan out. I'm going to give her a little more time to, to cook up here a little bit. Because that's what I don't want. Right? You know what I mean? Drafting well, but we're still getting a lot of smoke in the shop. I got a fan blowing it out. Perhaps I ha I still started with too much coal in there. I mean, that's that might be it. I tried not to use too much. She's burning down slowly. Regardless of the learning curve, that's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, once that burns down, I think I'm gonna have a nice hot ass ring right around that inside. And I'm not seeing any you know, red showing through on the on that rim, so I, I don't know, maybe it'll work. We just need to learn to live with bituminous. Back in again, I pushed some of the larger pieces that haven't uh, kind of worked their way down into the system yet, into the middle. <clears throat> Throw this thing in and see if we can get an outside heat on it like we were hoping. Let's see, let's see. I'll tell you what, the way it's looking, the Ring of Fire was a damn good song. It's a poor design for a forge. It's just, I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but I'm not getting it. It's not doing what I wanted it to do, that's for sure. I'm going to give it a little more time here and see. It just isn't it. And the, the last thing I want to do is go to propane. Uh, 
And the, I, well, the last thing I want to do is sit there and roll the freaking pan in my forge. But I could have had this pan done in the amount of time that I've been dicking around just trying to heat it up right now. Uh, this, the reason I want, I'd like to get that entire pan hot so I can go back to my jig and, and work it. Crimp it, work it, crimp it, work it, and maybe even put a mandrel on the jig. So I'm gonna give it a little more, a little more time, but I think we're gonna chalk this, chalk this one up to neat idea, Chandler, but totally freaking didn't work. Ain't that a good way to spend a Sunday when you could have been home freaking doing something else? Socks. You have it. Proof of concept works. Ring of fire. We got the rings heated. Unsatisfactorily, I will add the whole concept. My entire idea is working beautifully right here. It just isn't working that well. And I don't know what to tell you about that. Here's a ring there, you see it? Yeah, ring of fire. Great design, Chandler. Stupid ass. You dumbass. Just to gather as much information as possible, let me throw this. Remember that 8 inch disc that I cut off? Let's pull that, throw that in there and see what happens. Um, I'll turn the big blower on and save time. Let's see if that. I mean, what. Does it make sense? Is there another design to use? this one. It's been a long time since we had a complete failure. Uh, we learned a few things. First of all, notice that bituminous, just for those of us that haven't used it. Once she gets cooked in, she cleans right up. And it still stinks. It cleans right up. And the thing about that freaking coal is uh, you don't need air going. I mean, it just... It just sits there and cooks on its own and you induce air and you get a good response out of it. But... Um, that's totally different than anthracite. So I don't know. What am I going to do? Because I want this figured out. I want this to be bang, bang, bang. Because I'm, I'm big. Well, I put a lot of time into figuring it out. So there's got to be a way. I mean, a propane forge the size of a frying pan. Um, put it in and it'll be hot in a few seconds. So maybe that's the trade off. The trade off is the cost of the propane. Um, and then the cost of building the forge would have to be <clears throat> what like 16 by 16 by figure three or four anyway in height um, that's the inside dimensions and fire bricked around and that kind of stuff so I'll be back with another suggestion but hopefully you enjoyed failing with me it's been a long day I'm gonna go home lick my wounds and figure out a new plan if you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right hand side of the screen called support and it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support as always.